Tigers will leave this ship with a great feeling of dedication that the young American sailor has today towards his ship, his command, and his country. They're going to be able to see many ships maneuvering with each other. It'll be a once-in-a-lifetime experience, a fabulous opportunity. Right two degrees, coming to course zero six six. Very well. Okay. Sound course zero six six, checking zero five eight. Arms is head standard, indicate pitch and turns for 17 knots. Like uh, Very well. To discuss this with your commanding officer uh, via Navy Red, over. Captain Dallas Bethay commands the state-of-the-art guided missile cruiser USS Cowpens, displacing less than one quarter the mass of the great battleships of World War II. Kalpin seems no match to those powerful dreadnoughts, but concealed under her sleek exterior stands a lethal arsenal of missiles capable of destroying multiple sea, air, and land targets up to 1,000 miles away. The USS Kitty Hawk battle group has operated together for the past six months since we left San Diego on November 3rd of last year. It's been a long, tiring voyage, and the crew is looking forward to seeing family and friends on the home stretch, a special event known as a Tiger Cruise. A Tiger Cruise is an opportunity for relatives and friends of crew members, both male and female, to come out and ride the ship, normally from its last port in a deployment to the home port. And in our case, in the Pacific Fleet, it's from Hawaii to San Diego. Let me go ahead and pack the hat. OK. I'm not going to wear it. My expectations would be to spend some very good one-on-one -on -one time with my son. Where are you going to have fun? Without the competition. We'll get your chariot. From the family, as you would normally have it when he's home. My checklist here. Can't believe you're going without me. Dick Chuska <gasps> is newly retired from a major oil company. His only son, Richard, is a seaman aboard the Cowpens. We're going to cruise a little over seven days at sea on his ship. I think that'll be wonderful. We call it a tiger cruise because anyone who comes out and joins us has to be a tiger for seizing this opportunity to spend five to eight days at sea, working with the crew members, seeing how they live, seeing how a Navy ship operates, and experience Family. a gusto of going to sea. Toothbrush, toothpaste. Yeah, toothbrush. Can't forget your toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to see my uncle's ship. I think it'll be real fun. And I heard they'll be firing some of the guns and stuff, and I really want to see that. I'll be able to find out <laughs> what his uncle actually does for a living. And he'll come back and tell me what my brother does for a living. You ready? Yep. Let's go. I'm ready. Kirby Burleson is a 14-year-old student with typical interests in video games and music. I think it's a great opportunity for Kirby. He may one day want to join the Navy, get a free education. He's never been to Hawaii. I'm a little jealous that he gets to go before I do. From all across America, over 1,000 Tigers converge at the Honolulu International Airport. As a special guest, each will soon join one of the six warships in the Kitty Hawk Battle Group. Oh USS Cowpens. Anybody going to USS Cowpens? Just outside the door, sir. If you could gather in a group, there's a whole bunch of them out there. And stick with them, and then I'll take everybody down to baggage claim, and we'll all go to the bus together. Accompanied by their official sponsor, the Tigers quickly learn the realities of living with a vertical floor plan. I think I counted the, uh, there were 12 stairs on every unit that you go up and down, and going from mess to bunk, there's three sets of those, and going from bunk to the 05 level, there's eight sets of those. I was worried about not getting worked out on the Stairmaster, but I think maybe I've been getting some compensating exercise. 
Now make preparations for getting underway. I have set several goals for the Tigers on board the USS Cowpens. First and foremost, I want to treat them like VIPs. And so we have gone to great lengths to provide the best of facilities for our Tigers and to give them an opportunity to really enjoy and absorb everything that we are doing aboard this ship. I want them to see every square inch of this ship and absorb the total experience of being at sea aboard a U.S. Navy warship. After being on board for six months of just living with the same people, that it's real nice, you know, to have family members come on board and really get the feel of how everything's going at home, just being with one person from your family, because they're telling you what's happening at home and filling you in all, all the details. And it's just, it helps a lot to have them on board before you go home. One of the reasons why the bridge is up so high is because the higher you are, the farther you can see with the curvature of the earth. Having the Tigers on board is kind of exciting for me. Kirk Kalbfleisch joined the Navy fresh out of high school. In 15 years, he has worked his way up to chief fire controlman. Provide the operator in the aircraft with a picture of what he's looking at. Having helped to build this ship and having been on board for three years, I'm real proud of having been on board Calpens as long as I have and getting a chance to show her off just puts the icing on the cake for me. This is the Mark 41 vertical launch system. We're capable of carrying three different types of missiles. It's every dad's dream to have his son be a man and to accomplish great things in his life. It has an alternate surface-to-surface -surface mode with a range of about 15 miles. Al Kalbfleisch is embarking on his second Tiger cruise with his son. Has a range in the anti-ship variant of 250 miles. He's accomplished a lot. He's paid back all the efforts Mom and I have put into his life, far more than we had expected. We get to experience being out at sea together, and I get to share something that I love to do with my dad. The SEWA system is a last-ditch defense against anti-ship cruise missiles. It's a 20-millimeter Gatling gun. It fires 3,000 rounds per minute out to an engagement range of a little less than two miles. The Mark 45 is a 5-inch 54 caliber gun. It has a rate of fire of about 20 rounds per minute, and it's very effective against surface targets, against targets ashore, and also against air targets that make it through our initial surface-to-air missile defense. 